Ah, uh, see, now that I'm sitting on the floor, I don't have anything to like rest my microphone on. Normally it would kind of be below me in front of the camera and I would angle it up towards my mouth, but I'm just holding it today. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I feel like a presenter holding my mic like this. Um, hang on, wait, let me see if I can rest it somewhere. You know what? I'll figure that out. I figure, I fi <laughs> am I okay? <laughs> I'll figure that out in a second, but hello, welcome to my floor of my filming room. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup organization video slash makeup declutter. There's probably only going to be a little bit of decluttering in here because I did get rid of quite a lot of my makeup when I moved house, which actually was like 10 months ago now, I think. But it's mostly going to be kind of like an organization video of my makeup in these drawers that you see behind me because I recently redid this whole room. If you haven't seen that video, it's like a few weeks back on my channel. And I have actually now got a whole load of like organizational things to go inside my drawers and quite a few people actually commented on that video of my like room transformation so if, if you organize your makeup please film a makeup organization video i think quite a few people find those videos quite relaxing i do as well like they're a little bit sort of like asmr and also i guess if anybody's just interested and want to see what my makeup collection is like at the moment and how i'm trying to like somewhat organize things i say organize if you are like a very organized person you probably will hate my channel and hate me because yeah i'm definitely one of the most most disorganized people that I know um, so this is gonna be my version of organized but I hope you enjoy it. anyway let's do it how am I gonna do this maybe I will have to put the microphone back on top of my camera just showing you guys what I've actually got so that I can organize my makeup um, I bought a few things off Amazon these are some boxes that actually came in a bare minerals PR package but I thought instead of just like ripping them up and putting them in the recycling they're actually quite handy, sturdy boxes, which I think will fit in these drawers. So I held on to those. The ones that I got from Amazon, unfortunately, these are all like individually plastic wrapped. I don't know why every single thing needs to be individually wrapped, but I'll just show you what they are quickly. I do have some similar ones of these, which I featured in my previous. Have I done a declutter since I moved here? Or maybe it was just in one of my moving vlogs or something. So I got some of these like hard acrylic plastic storage containers. I think they are meant for kind of organizing kitchen drawers and stuff. They work really well for makeup. So the set that I got, I will try and leave links down below, but this was the set that I went for. So you get three of these bigger sized ones that are all just wrapped like this. You then get one, two, three, four, five, six of these ones, which are really good for putting things like blushes and bronzers in, which are very handy. And they've also got like little ridges along them as well. So you get six of those. You get six of these, which are just a little bit shorter, but these ones are the same width as the other ones, but obviously you just can't fit as many in here. And then you also get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get eight of these, which I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use these for yet, but they're just like little cube ones. I guess these are gonna be quite handy for putting things like pencil sharpeners in, maybe like little um, jewels or something for my eyes or maybe, I don't know, lash glue or something. They're just like very small ones. These are probably the least useful. So that all came as a set for around like 20 something pounds. I think it was around 25 pounds. And then just in case that wasn't enough, I also went for these, which are very similar to what the Ikea ones are like. If you guys are familiar with these sort of like Ikea packing square things, which you can put like clothes, underwear, that kind of thing in these. Yeah, these ones are very, very similar, but they're just from Amazon. They don't quite look as sturdy though, but they are collapsible, which is quite handy. So it's just like a little box fabric box um and then i do think yeah it comes with like the bases for them so you can reinforce them and make them a bit sturdier i think we've got two of these sort of like bigger ones two of those and then you get this sort of shape one and then if i just show you like the bases go in them like this so that they aren't as floppy and then yep you get two that are this sort of shape and then you also get two smaller square ones which are really handy for putting things like foundation in i was actually hoping these would be a little bit bigger but we'll see what they're like when they are in my drawers anything that i do end up decluttering will either be going to a women's shelter um or to family and friends or for giveaways for you guys if it's like brand new stuff um and yeah i say we just get into it but yeah just to just to clarify this is mostly an organization video rather than decluttering yeah, mostly organizing today. So if you guys haven't seen already from my makeup transformation video that I did with Made, all of these drawers are from Made and um, the plants are from Patch Plants and these are where I keep my makeup in. So in this one here, I've just got my lipsticks that I use the most often. I've got a little candle there from Revolution. And then in these drawers, in these drawers, I've got my highlighters 
and blushes in the top drawer which as you can see is very disorganized. Second drawer down, I've got bronzers, cream bronzers, some like beauty sponges and stuff. Then I've got my mascaras. And then in the third and final drawer of this one, I've got my lipsticks over here, like lipsticks that aren't <laughs> used on a regular basis. And then my eyelashes and like lash stuff as well. So let's start from the top, work our way down, and then we'll work onto these drawers over here. How is this even gonna work? I feel like I need a lapel mic or something because this is just gonna be really strange. So I don't actually know why this random pot of glitter has ended up in this drawer, but I'm gonna take that out and move it to another drawer in a bit. So as you can see, my blushes over this side are actually already in these kind of cases and they're sort of okay um, and relatively organized. Apart from a couple that I had to kind of put sideways because they didn't fit fully. But these ones, they're all right. This is actually my first ever makeup product, which was one of my mum's blushes. And I'm just gonna keep this forever because it was my mum's, but this is really old now. I never ever use it, but I'm just holding on to it for sentimental reasons. So I kind of put that at the back. These ones here are just some of my more frequently used blushes. So I've got my Fenty Cream Blush, which I absolutely love. I've got Milani Luminoso. I've got Milani Bellissimo Bronze, which is one that I recently started using. I've got this Patrick Tar blush, which is expensive, but it's so gorgeous. This is called She's Passionate. I've got my little Ofra Rose blush in here. I've got a Revolution or XX Revolution blush. Charlotte Tilbury, my little Benefit California, which is one of my faves. Um, so those are gonna stay there. Just shuffle a couple of bits around. Oh, I guess my cream blush, I should move into this pot. So this pot here is just some of my cream blushes, which I actually do use a lot more frequently now. Um, I've got a Florence by Mills one, a couple of Fenty ones. I've got some nude sticks. I've got Kiko, Nip and Fab. Yeah, like I said, these ones just kind of stay in here. This one I actually tried recently, which is a B by Superdrug one, which is an apricot li liquid brush. That's actually really nice. Oh, that is really going to be annoying. <laughs> the Oprah highlighters don't fit in here. Do the matte ones even fit? So I am just going to start finding the round highlighters in here or any sort of highlighters that will fit into these ones. And I'm just going to put them in. I don't actually know why I've got this other misguided one here. This one, um, I think I only swatched it. I don't think I actually, oh no wait, I didn't even swatch it. That's actually brand new. I haven't used it. So that's gonna go into my box for like giveaway stuff. Let me just move these. So that one is filled. Then in this one, I'm gonna put like liquid and cream highlighters, like my ColourPop stuff. Um, so they aren't just loose in the drawer. Hopefully this one fits, yeah. Oh, I've got a little mini Rodeo Drive. There is another misguided one that is too dark for me. That's a palette. Benefit cookie. Got another ColourPop one. Let's just shuffle these to the back. And then I'm gonna put like little mini ones. Um, for example, the Jouer miniature just at the front. I've got two little mini Becca ones and they're just gonna go just at the front there. So I've got a second one of these filled up. I think my liquid highlighters I'm just gonna put in here cause I reckon I can probably fit them. Let's just kind of put them in this box for now. That's all of them. So they fit pretty nicely in there. Oh, and then I've got this lush cream one actually that can also go in here as well. And then I guess for all my palettes and stuff over this side, I'm probably just gonna take them out, put them back in again. Um, and then I've got things like bigger highlighters, which didn't actually fit width ways into the organizers, which is a bit frustrating, like the Ofra highlighters and stuff. They don't quite fit, so I'm probably gonna have to, what, what should I put them in? These two revolution ones are probably just gonna put to the back. And then this little one can go back there as well. Let's just put these back in. Okay, so there is another highlighter one done. I've just kind of put like bigger highlighters and then smaller palettes in here, um, which actually fit quite nicely. They all fit pretty perfectly in there. So with the highlighter palettes that I've got remaining, this one's like a bronzer, bronzer highlighter blush sort of palette. That's just gonna stand up over there. I've got a Kiko highlighter palette. I've got my palettes with Revolution. I've got this gorgeous Beauty Bay one, which is also gonna stay. And then these two can just go here. And then the last three things that I've got to sort are just three blush palettes, a Revolution Pro one, which I think I am gonna keep because it's got some nice like orange shades and I don't really have many orange blushes. I've got this Miss Piggy Ciate palette, which is like a cream blush palette, which is really nice. And then I've also got Roxy's blush palette as well with Revolution, which again, is really beautiful. So those can just go at the back here. 
And then I've just decided to get rid of these three. So the NYX Diamonds and Ice palette, which is really gorgeous, but I just don't need it. I mean, I, you know, I don't need half of these, but realistically, I'm probably not gonna use it again. The Imagination palette is really beautiful, but um, I just haven't used it in a while. So I think I'm gonna let it go. And then also this NARS palette as well, I am gonna be getting rid of because I just don't really use it. I mean, it looks really pretty, but I just, I don't know why. I'm just never really drawn to it and I don't really use it. So that's gonna go as well. Actually, you know what? I just swatched this and it, it looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it and try and use it. And if I don't like use it in the next few months that I will get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. But there we go, that was so much better. Okay, moving on. You know what guys, this drawer isn't actually too bad because these are all like mostly organized. I think I just need another skinny organizer to put like the overflow ones. I have a feeling, yep, yeah, that's a highlighter. So that's in the wrong drawer. This Huda Caramel I haven't used, but Pinky got hold of it and chewed it. So now I guess I will give it to a family or friend member who would like one of these, but doesn't mind that the dog has chewed the packaging on the outside. <laughs> These big Kiko ones don't really fit in anything, so they just kind of like stay at the back here. I guess the only thing that needs overflow, wait, can you even see from here? It's my cream bronzers, which are just down in the corner here, because these are kind of overflowing a bit. So I'm gonna move that one, move the sticks into here, and then put those cream bronzers just in there. And then I've just got my sponges in here and then I've got my mascaras over this side. But honestly, like that is the best sort of storage that I can think to do for my mascaras. Just dumped into like a big separated divider thing. Why is there a packet of gum in here? I'll take that. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna chew gum because that'll probably be really annoying. But this drawer is kind of done. And then again, this last drawer doesn't really need a whole lot doing to it. Um, It's kind of frustrating because these buxom lip pencil things don't fit in my lip liner holders but then they don't fit in these either because it like blocks the drawer from closing i'm just gonna put that up here for now so i've got my lashes and stuff down here i've got like lip glosses liquid lipsticks red lipsticks as you can see like not even all of these are full because i did get rid of a lot of lipsticks last time i decluttered oh but what i do need is just something for my lip balms and stuff which are at the back here maybe i can use a couple of these There we go. I, I find it very hard to organize because I do not have a organizational bone in my body, but you know, I try my best. And now we move on to my next set of drawers, which is gonna be fun. For this one, I think I'm just gonna have to put my microphone like on top of the camera because if I'm putting the microphone up here and then I'm all the way down on the ground, it's just not gonna work. Okay guys, you know what I've decided I'm gonna do instead because it's gonna be way easier. These drawers actually come out really easily. They just kind of unhook and you can take them out. So instead of me like trying to put my camera here, I'm just gonna take the drawers out and put them in front of me and then I can sit and chat with you while I go through them I think that'll work better <laughs> right here we go so these are all of my eyeshadow like cream eyeshadows colorful liquid liners eye primers loose um glitters and stuff like that I do also have these which were just chilling in my highlighter drawer earlier so they're also gonna be part of this I'm gonna go with my cream eyeshadows for example like the Charlotte Tilbury ones I've got some NYX ones. Um, I've also got some individual eyeshadows in here that aren't even cream, but I think anything that's kind of this sort of size is gonna fit nicely into these. So I'm gonna do that first. Oh, I've got my Auric ones as well. That can stay at the front because I really liked that. KVD one, don't need that. It's yellow, that's gonna go. Oh yeah, and anything like Colourpop. Oh, Shiseido, that one's so pretty. Oh, I can't fit them in because they're not quite wide enough again okay you know what okay then i'm gonna do my eye primers in this one just in case anybody's curious my current favorite eyeshadow primers are the anastasia beverly hills one and also i really like this nars one which is the tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in the shade light that one's really nice as well um i like the revolution cut crease canvas i really got into eye primers recently although this is a glitter glue so i'm actually going to take that out oh there's a beauty bay one i actually really like the beauty bay one as well that's really nice wonderful in this one i think i'm going to do like my liquid and cream eyeshadows that are in stick form so like the kvd ones So that is those. Is this even all gonna fit back in this drawer? I'm not sure it is. And then in this one, I'm gonna do my liquid liners that are in different colors. And I'm also just putting like glitter eyeliners in here as well. Lovely jubbly. That is so satisfying how they fit perfectly 
into here. And then, you know what? One of these small ones I'm gonna use for my cake liners because I don't have very many. They can just chill in here. And then same case for my glitter glues. Then these are just two NYX special effects palettes, which I'll probably keep in here if I've got space for them. But let's just see, can I fit the rest of this stuff back in? Perfect. These can just kind of sit on top. My glitters can go there. These can go just here. That is a lot better. And then when I want these, I can just kind of slide that out of the way. Same with these ones. Okay, next drawer. So this next drawer that I have is my eyebrow stuff. This doesn't really need anything doing it to, doing it to, <laughs> doing to it. Because I did this the other day. I've just got my eyebrow pencil in this box. I've got clear brow gels in this one. I've got tinted brow gels in this one and anything else is just kind of at the back like palettes, soap brows, pomades, that kind of thing. So this one is fine for now. This one is going to be quite difficult because I've also, like my microphone, I've had to push all the way back. I'm kind of crammed behind here but this is my, well it was sort of like my foundation leftovers drawer and then also my primers as well. But I have just taken, because I had another drawer as well that had foundations in it, I've just taken all the rest of my foundations out of there and then I've also got a whole other thing which is like tinted moisturizers and foundations in a squeezy tube that's kind of like how I categorize them how am I going to categorize this you know there are certain foundations which I think like oh what if I need it for a video one day for example if I'm following a celebrity's makeup and they pull out a Marc Jacobs foundation then I would be I would kick myself if I've if I'd have got rid of my Marc Jacobs foundation. So I like to hold on to things just so that I can switch things up because obviously, you know, YouTube and makeup is my job. So I do have a bit of a ridiculous amount of foundations and makeup in general, which I am extremely grateful for, but my organization is like not up to scratch to actually store all, the, all of this stuff. The best case thing is probably to put it in one of these bigger boxes. So that's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna take out the foundations that I use on like a more regular basis and like my nicer foundations, I guess. So. Charlotte Tilbury, my Revlon Color Stay, I still use all the time. Urban Decay Naked, that can go in here. L'Oreal True Match, Too Faced, Born This Way, one of my absolute faves. I actually quite, I actually use the Maybelline Dream, 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 <laughs> Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. That's really nice as well. Um, my KVD ones, absolutely love those. More Color Stay. Oh God. Let's actually put this in here. I feel like that'll probably be a lot easier. The Anastasia ones, those are really nice. Oh my God, how could I forget? My NARS foundations, obviously, I absolutely love. NARS Radiant Longwear. Where's the other one, actually? Where's the one that I use all the time, which is in my shade? Don't tell me I've lost my NARS Radiant Longwear in my correct shade. I'll find it. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter that's got an eyelash stuck to it. Lovely. Oh, that's kind of like a tint, I guess. That can go in the tinted moisturizer section. Oh, I've got another Charlotte Tilbury one here. The Magic Foundation. That's very nice. Il Maquillage. You know what? I will just put my Marc Jacobs in here. NARS. I'm just gonna have to fill up this box because there's actually quite a lot of space. That one can go in here. Rimmel. Maybelline Superstay. Hey! I found it guys, don't worry. Panic averted. Well, that's impressive. All of my foundations actually fit into this one box, which I was not expecting, but that has freed up so much room in my other drawer and in this drawer, because they were just all over the place. That's amazing. And then, like I said, all of my primers are just in here and then any bigger primers that don't quite fit in there. I've just got like overflowed at the back here, like the ginormous revolution ones. Cool. I could fit another box of something in here. What else can I put in here? There was me saying all that and then realizing that I forgot to put my squeezy tube foundations in this drawer. So they can go there. And then my concealers actually, they will fit in this one here because currently they are in this thing, but they will definitely all fit in one of these. Was that a stupid idea? Because now I'm not going to be able to see them very well. Maybe, but this is my base drawer, I guess. And God knows how I'm going to lift this and put it back in the drawer. One, two, three. So this drawer did have my concealers in it, but now it's just got powders. But what I am going to do is use some more of these because they're really handy for powders. Currently got some like pressed powders in this one, which is fine, but I think I need a bit more space. So I'm actually just going to transfer... So those are my pressed powders and powder foundations. And then the rest of them are the loose powders. So these can also go, actually, you know what? The loose powders, I think I might put in one of these, which are like the cardboard boxes. 
Should I do them sideways? I feel like it's easier to tell what they are. I feel like it, with the loose powders, because they've all got lids and they've written on the lids, it's quite hard to tell what they are when they're like sideways like this. So I'm probably just gonna put them like this and stack them so that I can see them a bit easier. Oh, now they're all not gonna fit. You know what, this Patrick Star powder, I literally never use, I'm gonna get rid of it. Favorites at the front. And there's a random concealer here. Okay, I've actually just decided that I'm gonna move all my concealers into one of these bigger ones. That way I can see my concealers a little bit better. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this back in the drawer because it will fit. And then I'm gonna move my primers into here just because I think they need a little bit more organization. And I'm gonna sort my primers out into categories. So I'm gonna do smoothing primers in one box and then sort of like serum type primers in another box, like the Fasali one. Smoothing, that one's like a cream. I guess what makes more sense there is like mattifying primers in this one and then like hydrating primers. That's what I was kind of trying to say. Cool. And then in this section of the drawer, I'm actually going to put all my setting sprays because all my setting sprays are currently just in like one of these bag bags. What is this? Like a basket? And then I have like all of the lids for them here. Okay, then in my second to last drawer, this is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. I've got some makeup bags, but this drawer is pretty much like half empty. I've also got in here, which I don't really think should be in here, my eyeliners, um, like colourful pencil eyeliners and pencils, and then also my liquid liners. But I think I'm probably going to move these into one of my other drawers where I've got like my eyeshadows or something or my mascaras. I'm going to try and put these somewhere else. And then this bottom drawer is mostly just going to be for like extra stuff. Um, Because surprisingly, I haven't actually filled up all of the space in my new drawers, which is amazing. So I'm just going to take those out for a second. And then I'm just going to put this back because for now, that's just going to stay like that. And then you know what guys, my bottom drawer of this is all my eyeshadow palettes and I did actually kind of like stack and arrange these the other day. I don't think I'm gonna put them into any of the organizers because they won't fit because most of the eyeshadow palettes are bigger, but I will just show you my eyeshadow palette drawer. So if my hands are shaking, it's because my camera's really heavy and I'm really weak. Over this side, I've just got like my colorful eyeshadow palettes. Like, um, okay, I'm not gonna be able to show you them all because they're all like piled up and stuff. Um, but I've got my Mama Mama Mitchell one, I've got the Stacey Marie palette, I've got an OPV colorful eyeshadow palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then these ones down in the bottom left corner are just more neutral eyeshadow palettes But they're my more high-end palettes and then I've also got some of my little miniature eyeshadow palettes down here in the middle section I've got lots of my revolution palette um, I've got some more neutral ones a couple of smaller revolution ones down here I've got my V palette KVD then I've just got okay. It's really dark. You can't even see then at the back I've got some more revolution I've got like my morphe ones and stuff like the Manny MUA one Madison beer then over this side I've got some more of my affordable eyeshadow palettes and like drugstore ones and oh my god my left arm is really really shaking here but this is kind of like a little overview of my eyeshadow palette drawer like yes it's not the most organized thing in the world but um it does the job and because the drawers are quite deep i can actually fit all of my eyeshadow palettes into one drawer whereas in my previous storage it was in like two or three different drawers um because some of them could like stack sideways like this which is really handy so there we go so if i just do a quick little overview of my drawers this is the first set of drawers which is the smaller one and then i've got the bigger one over here so i guess let's just work through these so my highlighter drawer is looking so much more organized than it was earlier um so on the right hand side i've got all my blushes and then in the middle i've got like cream blushes cream highlighters liquid highlighters and stuff at the back a couple of blush palettes and then i've got all of my highlighters and highlighter palettes over this side next drawer down i've got my mascaras over here some beauty blenders in the middle and then all of my bronzers and cream bronzers and stuff over to the right hand side and then the bottom drawer i didn't make any changes i've just got lashes lash stuff and lip stuff and like yeah half empty spaces <laughs> then if we come over here here in this top left drawer i've got my like colorful eyeliners glitters that kind of stuff eye primers this drawer is my eyebrow stuff and then this is how this drawer ended up so i've got my foundations like all of my foundations on the left my squeezy tube foundations and tinted moisturizers and like lighter coverage stuff in the middle and then on the right hand side i've got all of my concealers so that drawer actually works really nicely then this one i've got my mattifying primers my hydrating primers all of my pressed powders then my loose powders in the middle and then setting sprays on the right hand side so another nice looking drawer in my opinion this one is pretty much empty 
And then the bottom drawer is my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I've just realized that I didn't actually do anything with my pencil liners and liquid liners. I'm just gonna transfer them from these, which are like old drawers from an acrylic storage thing into these new ones. And then I'm just gonna put some sharpeners in one of these little pots. And then these can go in. I've just put them on top of my mascaras um, because I can easily just take them out. And there we go. <laughs> That's my makeup collection. Too much makeup, bit disorganized, but I've just made it a little bit better, hopefully. Um, and then I do just have a small box here of things that I don't actually want anymore. And yeah, they will either go to friends or family or to a women's shelter in the next like round of stuff that I send over there. So yeah, that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully this wasn't too ridiculously long, seeing how disorganized uh, my makeup stuff is but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I'm now just going to find a question of the day. If you guys have got any questions for me about anything in the world, you can ask me in the comments down below using the hashtag question of the day and I might answer it in my next video. <laughs> I've literally just scrolled past three comments on my previous video of people talking about how James hates cats. Someone said, and James Kate's hat. <laughs> Kate's hat. Someone else says, wait, why doesn't James like cats? They're adorable. And then um, someone else said, I really like James till the hates cats. No bueno, my friend, sorry. <laughs> How can you hate cats? They're squishy softballs of fluff, warmth and love. Okay, I think what it is, is that James has always grown up with dogs. But you know what? James actually really liked my cats, like my family cats. If we got a cat, he, he would learn to love it. And he knows deep down that he would learn to love it. Um, but obviously at the moment, we're not gonna get a cat because I think pinks would get very scared of it probably or try and eat it. So it wouldn't really be fair on either of them. I don't hate them. I'm just not a cat person. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Pinky wants to come and say hello. Pinky, do you want to be my question of the day? I do actually get a lot of questions saying, how is Pinky? How's she doing? Come on then, little one. I say little one. Oh, she's just whipping the micro microphone with her tail. She's always so curious about what's going on in here because obviously like most of the time I just close the door. Hello. Oh, that was right up my nose. But yeah, I think he's doing good. She's grown a lot. And every time I post her on Instagram or something, people are always like, she's so big. She now weighs just over nine kilograms. So she's kind of on like the top end of a small dog. I think a small dog is kind of like a lot of places say up to nine kilograms. Um, but yeah, she's really grown, but she's doing really good. And she's always interested in what we're doing. So yeah, this is pinky. But um, okay, she just wants to stay on my lap. You know what? We will answer the question just while she's here. Okay, let me find a, a question. Um, okay, this is a question from Lucy Billum. And she has said, question of the day, I've noticed your look has changed in the past year or so. What do you think has changed your appearance the most? Just to help us out looking for that. I think he's singing into the microphone. What do you think has changed your appearance most just to help us out looking for that glow up, although you're beautiful now and then? I think the only thing that's really changed about my appearance in the past year is that I've put on a bit of weight, um, which isn't a bad thing. The funny thing is I'm, d I'm doing more exercise now because obviously we're walking pinky every day, but during lockdown, I definitely was eating more and like baking load of cakes and stuff, which I still do, and just generally eating more. So yeah, I've put on a bit of weight, which I think has kind of filled my face out a bit, I guess. I my roots have grown out a bit. Um, I style my hair a bit differently now, I guess. I don't, I used to straighten it all the time. Whereas now I just like have it wavy a lot, although it is straight today, but I haven't straightened it. I've just used my hairdryer. Um, I do my eyebrows a little bit differently. They're a little bit more straight and they used to be slightly more angled. Oh, I guess something else that's maybe changed is I don't do liquid liner as much as I used to. I mostly do like a little bit of um, powder eyeliner these days like eyeshadow eyeliner so that's kind of different oh and i wear more blush oh and i contour my nose yeah i've just remembered like a few things thank you though for saying that you think i've had a glow up i don't think i've had a glow up yeah i mean i guess, I guess that's it i don't really know what else to say <laughs> right guys i'm gonna leave this here because this video is probably i think i've got over two hours of footage so enjoy um yeah i hope you're all doing good and i will see you in the next video and i will be in the comments replying down below when this video goes live and yeah i'll see you there See you in my next video. Bye.